Welcome back. I'm Tyler, and welcome to another installment of Frock Talk, the show where we go through my wardrobe one dress at a time, which might end when I'm 80. And before we get into that, I just wanted to show you my outfit today, which is, what is this? Flower garden tea time? Allergies extravaganza? I don't fucking know. I thought it was Milky Wonder Party. That is your name for every AP print that you don't know. You need a new name. Anyway, I put this outfit together, and I haven't put together an EGL outfit in a long time. Pretty proud of it. It's, uh, a lot. I also forgot how much time... Shoes. That's the shoes. I like these shoes. They're cute. I also forgot how long it took to put together an outfit. I'm pretty sure I'm at least 20 years older. It's a Rumpelstiltskin moment. Moment? Moment. It's a Rumpelstiltskin moment for me. I forgot how long it took. And the answer is a lot. Too long. Unnecessarily long. But I did reconstruct the Sistine Chapel on my body, so I guess I can't complain. And this is particularly ridiculous. Can you imagine? Look how big this is. It is kind of hard to keep your bunny ears in frame, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is a Flower Garden Tea Time, I believe. It is a Kira Imai collab, and now we're going to go into our closet and look at something from fracking 2009. I don't know why I said our closet. You don't own any of these. Hey, it's our house, goddammit. It's my house and you live in it. Oh, that is so the opposite of reality. <laughs> so the opposite. All right, back in the closet. This is Sweet Jam by Angelic Pretty from the year 2009. It is 100% cotton. It has partial back shirring from back when things were incredibly small even with the partial shirring the partial shirring is a joke but hey it's better than nothing and it also has a side zipper which i tend to prefer to full back shirring because full back shirring you have to pull over your head which is a pain in the butt but at least it does have the adjustable buttons some of you are wondering why i'm giving you all these like nitty-gritty details others know that when they're looking for a dress on the second hand market these detail shots are a gold mine Mine, not mine. I was about mine. to say. <laughs> My mind is broken. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Leave me alone. But seriously, like, the reason I do this series is because I like seeing videos on dresses that I'm considering buying. And stuff like this, little detail shots, wondering what the shirring is like, how stretchy it is, side zipper or no zipper, that kind of stuff is invaluable to me. I like it. I like being able to see a dress on video because oftentimes AP's fracking like pictures for ants thumbnails of these dresses from this era they don't do it any justice like if you look up stock photos of this you're going to get a picture that might be appropriate for a beetle i made it much larger than an ant i can't keep my bug <laughs> metaphors in line and i'm looking at a pig where's the pig that's the pig an upside down pig. It's an upside down pig. He's having a moment, okay? Leave him be. <laughs> I sympathize with that pig right now. All right, so Sweet Jam is a lovely print, and what makes it all the more lovely is that Cameraman got me this dress for Christmas. I don't actually remember getting it for you, so I will take your word for it. Well, a very belated Mary Chrysler to you, Cameraman. <laughs> No, I was actually really excited about this dress. This dress, when I first joined the fashion, was not actually one I liked very much. I wasn't really a fan of all over, like, scatter prints. I came in when the border prints were starting to be a thing. When they started to get big and every Lolita was obsessed with, like, Milky Planet, right? <laughs> Milky Chan the Fawn, you know? Was Whimsical Vanilla Chan a 2010 era print? I feel like it was 2010. Are you asking me this question? Why do you not have biographical <laughs> knowledge of my wardrobe, Mr. Cameraman? You're sleeping on the job. No, I mean, but seriously. You literally did wake me up to film this video, by the way. Workman's comp? <laughs> File a complaint with HR. They'll tell you to go fork yourself. <laughs> anyway, at the time, I was not a super fan of this because of the all over print. But with time, all over prints became more fashionable, and my taste in the fashion changed just a, just a hair, not that much, but enough to allow me to appreciate these cute little, like, picnic treats. Like, look at that. Does this not scream, like, summer? Not Texas summer. Yeah. Not, okay, pretend summer in a climate that doesn't want you dead. <laughs> 
let's say fall for Texas, you know, that one week in like October at night mm -hmm. when it's like 32 degrees for two seconds, that's when you wear this in Texas. But in all seriousness, I just, I really love this print. It is in such great condition. Cameraman really found a nice one. It's got all the little jams and the little cakes. There's a lot of gingham in this too. I didn't even notice all that gingham. See, yeah. even the jar. Little jar lid has gingham. And the little, um, I don't even know what you call them. Like their little heart, like yeah. do doilies or something. They're like, they're heart doilies. They're hoilies? <laughs> and of course, the... One of my favorite parts about any of these dresses from this era is the giant fracking bow. Like an unnecessarily large waist bow. AP <laughs> used to come out bow first on every fracking print dress. Now they're they're kind of small, frankly. Like the dress I'm wearing now doesn't even have a waist bow. Look at that. Yeah. Flower Garden Tea Time says no. No bow. No to the bow. Bow 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 no. <laughs> Know where I am or what's happening, but here's a pretty dress. It's been a little while and I forgot how to Lolita. <laughs> I just realized this lace is pink. Did you catch the strawberry lace? Strawberry lace. Um, no, I did not. Let me see. It's pink and there's a polka dot border. It looks very, very white on the camera, but with my eyes, I can see it actually is pink. We have slanted waist ties. Here we go. Also pink lace and mm -hmm. the polka dots are actually pink. Yeah, they are. The fracking, but I thought they were white this whole time. They're pink. These, you can tell a little bit Do more. they come up or, a little better? Yeah. A little bit, but they don't, they look a lot more white on screen than they do in person. I really did think they were white because the doilies throughout the print are white. And the lace, no, that's pink. The fracking lace at the top is pink. It's the lightest pink I've ever seen. It's even, wait, is it white or is it pink? No, it's pink. Tell me with your eyeballs, cameraman. Is this lace pink or is it white? Up top here? Yeah, I'm thinking pink. It, it is It is a very, very light shade of pink. It is the lightest shade but again, of pink on, I've ever on seen. But again, on camera, it looks white. This dress is just a jam jar full of lies. <laughs> Everything I saw on screen was wrong. Oh my God. It's a good thing I like pink and red or I'd be upset. Is that a strawberry scepter? There are strawberry scepters on here. No, that's a spoon. I get those two mixed up all the time. <sighs> <laughs> I was all excited about there being a scepter, and it was a spoon. <laughs> it really does look like a Sailor Moon scepter, but it's a fracking spoon. This <laughs> Cocoa Puffs by Moonlight. Well, is there anything else you would like to say? Any closing remarks? For Sweet Jam from 2009 by Angela Pretty. Um, it's pretty. I like it. It's in a weird way. It's like it's it's every bit as busy as your other prints, but in a weird way, it almost seems more minimalist. Like it seems a bit more kind of down to earth. I guess because I don't know it's hard to describe, but you compare it to like some of these others. Ribbonberry Bunny. Yeah, like it just seems. This seems almost more like homey. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just because of the things that are actually on it are things that actually exist. You have <laughs> jars of jam and like cakes. Jams, jellies, jams, <laughs> jellies. Okay, Jane. <laughs> See who gets that reference. No, um, honestly, you touched on something that I was thinking about it, but did not know how to put it. Also words. polka dots and gingham. Like it just seems kind of old timey and... It feels, there's an almost homespun element to it. Yeah. Not in its construction, but in its feel. Mm -hmm. It feels like lived in almost. It feels realistic. Yeah. It feels like there's a Lolita in the park sitting down for a picnic, picnic either post or pre Pokemon Go, mm -hmm. so that she's not going to get ran over by 10, 12 year olds who are walking like this. Oh, that joke is already dated. Tyler. Oh, it's incredibly dated, but I experienced <laughs> it and I'm still mad about it. <laughs> Okay. That lasted all of, that uh, Pokemon Go. That was like the world was obsessed with that for about a week yep. and then completely forgot and about I it. And I will never forget it because yep. it was incredibly annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all that can be said about Sweet Jam. Anything you want to say to the people before we leave them? Anything you want to talk about? Nope. What do you mean nope? I mean nope. What do you mean nope? I mean nope. Explain your nope. No. Don't <laughs> fight me.
in my own closet. <laughs> Sweet Jam by Angelic Pretty. Is that it? Sweet Jam? I thought it had some really long name. No, this was actually one of the few AP prints that is legit two words. Sweet oh. Jam. That's it. Even, so even, it's minimalist even down to the name. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, Sweet Jam, that's it. Thank you for uh, joining us for whatever the hell this was. I'm sure editing this will be fun. Yep, see you again in another, like, three months. Did you have to go there? <laughs> Can we not just pretend that this is normal? Anyway, on that note, since I have some murdering to do, apparently, <laughs> with various and sundry blunt objects, this has been Tyler. You've been watching the channel with my fracking name on it. I keep trying to say Scarfing Scarves. It's not called that anymore. Same person, different name. Quit looking at my scarves, you weirdo. <laughs> that was the start of the name. I used to own, like, God, like 40 different scarves, and I hung them all on a tree and took a picture, and I was like, what would be a name for a channel? And my brain was like, scarfing scarves. And I was like, that's stupid, let's go with it. Again, yeah. living in Texas, there's about a week out of the year where you get to wear scarves. And I make the most of it. <laughs> anyway, you've been watching the channel with my fracking name on it. This has been Frock Talk, the series where we go through one dress at a time until we run out, which is looking like never at this point, because I have a problem. Thank you to my patrons for making whatever you just saw possible, and should you like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more content that I wouldn't recommend you watch for any reason, ever, sober or otherwise. Amen. Thanks again, guys, <laughs> and I'll catch you next time. And we return for just a second because I forgot to show you my new decor. Look at the thing. Look at the little picture. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it cute? It is cute. What print is from Happy Garland? It's the postcard from Happy Garland, and I put it in a cute little frame because I like the art, and I think it adds a little bit to that area. It does. And the last thing that I want to show you is this. I have redone it. I have put up a bunch of art from Kira Mai, which I really, really like, in picture frames that I spray painted myself. Look at that. Yay. These might have been that color before, but these definitely weren't. These I definitely painted. Have they seen the, the fat little kitty before? They have seen the fat little kitty that's been here for a little bit. Well, let's look again. Look at that fat little kitty. Look at this fat little tummy. Who said you could look at my fat little cat? It's just cute. You don't get fat cat privileges. I added a bunch of picture frames and I added this APT cup that I won in a bloodbath, as well as New Country Roses from the Royal Albert series. I'm not sure how many people care, but I felt like it really added something to the top of this dresser. And if you can back up and have a look at the room in general, just kind of swipe it slowly, I feel like it really, it just really adds a lot to the whole room. That it does. Is it pretty? I think I did a good job. I'm, I think I said this in a video before, but I, decorated this entire room on the cheap by myself. You did. I saw you do it. Those curtains were 10 bucks. That that was your quarantine project basically. Sure. When COVID first hit, like we were both going stir crazy and that's what you did to occupy your time was just decorate this room. I should make a whole video on just how to decorate on the cheap because I got all of this stuff for like bargain, but this frame especially would be pretty expensive if you bought it. I mean, a lot of this stuff came from Goodwill, right? That's true. Yeah, a lot of my decor, the uh, the candles were like a dollar each. They were really affordable. We'll save that for the video. Don't don't give away all the spoilers. <laughs> That's a whole video by itself because I'm pretty passionate about everything I did to this room, and I think it turned out really neat. And my new additions look good. All right, now we're saying goodbye for realsies this time. For realsies. Fight me. <laughs> You five, ten foot tall. It's out of a word that I can't say on YouTube. <laughs>